What is up, Ninja Nation? Welcome back to another Filthiest Pitches of the Day. And today we're going to focus mostly on relievers, especially closers. But before we get into all that, hit the subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss everything we're bringing you this year, including highlights and interviews, and the season's about to start. So make sure you subscribe. And now, here are the Filthiest Pitches of the Day. We're going to focus mostly on relievers, but I'm going to start with a starter, Adrian Hauser. Hauser's sinker is already one of the best in the game, and he focused this offseason and this spring on refining his secondary pitches, and I really expect him to have a breakout season this year. Speaking of breaking out, check this out from Bobby Miller of the Dodgers. 100 mile an hour flames against Shohei Otani. I kind of felt bad for Shohei. Hey, Mr. Otani, can I help you find something? No thanks, Bobby. I'm just looking. I was very excited to see Tommy Canely, formerly of the Yankees, back after Tommy John, and he's as filthy as ever. I mean, look at that changeup. Josh Stallmont of the Royals had one of the best swords you'll ever see. I mean, look at this. I don't know whether to call that a sword or swinging a pool noodle. Speaking of swords, last year's Sword of the Year winner, and maybe the all-time best sword, Miguel Castro was in action yesterday, and check out these change-ups, 92 and 93 miles an hour. I mean, that's most folks' fastballs. The White Sox bullpen is going to be filthy. Aaron Bummer threw this nasty slider, and so did Kyle Crick. You might remember Kyle Crick has the highest spin rate of any pitcher on his slider and has been up to 3,500 RPMs. On to college reliever and flamethrower extraordinaire, the volunteer fireman Ben Joyce. Check this out. This is an overhead view of his fastball. I don't know how you hit it. You can't even see it. As you know, Ben Joyce has topped out at 104 miles an hour. Not only do you have to worry about that, but he throws these wicked sliders. And check out this at bat from hell. You get nearly 100 miles an hour up and in, and then followed up with two disgusting sliders. What's a hitter to do? This is totally unfair for a college hitter. You should get hazard pay. Now on to some of my favorite back end of the bullpen pieces in the major leagues. Here's Devin Williams and his alien airbender. The airbender is maybe my favorite pitch in baseball. Devin didn't pitch that great yesterday, had a few walks, but expect him to have another big year because he's added a cutter to his already lethal airbender and his upper 90s fastball. Craig Kimbrell made an appearance yesterday for the Dodgers. Check out this overlay of his fastball and his knuckle curve. You can see why he is an elite closer and likely a Hall of Famer. Now on to my top three closers in the game. First, we'll start with Emmanuel Classe. Check out these cutters, 98 miles an hour in under the hands and then 99 miles an hour painted inside. And it's that inside cutter that I think is going to take his game even to another level. Imagine being a right-handed hitter and seeing 102 miles an hour coming at you and then it cuts back to catch the zone. That is not a fair pitch. You're just going to freeze or maybe poop yourself. Class A not only had an ERA of about 1.3 last year, but he also, in the second half, had 33 strikeouts and only two walks. That is nuts. Speaking of nuts, Liam Hendricks was also in action yesterday with his upper 90s fastball and his wicked slider and knuckle curve. He had a 16.14 strikeout to walk ratio last year, which is the best in Major League history. He walked so few hitters he could actually name them all. Of the seven walks I had, I mean, eight if you include the playoffs, um, number eight walk, uh, he scored. Uh, the first walk was Trout, he scored. Uh, one of the other walks uh, to judge was... And if Emmanuel Classe has the best cutter of any closer, well, Liam Hendricks is the best cusser of any closer. I got a quote from you. Uh, you had a bad pitch. Mm -hmm. And you curve said... Ball yeah, curveball up. And you said... Uh, we'll have to edit this out. You said, f God f finish. I have... Uh, large vocabulary when I'm on the mound. Last and certainly not least, my number one closer for 2022 is Josh Hader. The man is virtually unhittable. Check out these home plate views of his changeup and his slider, and I'll throw in a fastball one too. I mean, look at the movement on the changeup, and that's his third best pitch. That changeup and slider are disgusting. What's even more ridiculous is he has those two insane pitches 
and he rarely has to throw him because hitters hit only 103 last year against his fastball. You can see why Josh Hader is my number one closer for 2022. One, two pitch, and a slam! 